one minute I'm like, you gotta take the chance, you gotta take the risk, you gotta do it, and then it's like, when if it don't work? When if this is a really big mistake? Amazing people, it's your girl Naja, and I'm back with another video. You guys, you probably can hear it in my voice that I'm tired, but y'all, as I pull into work today, I quit. <laughs> like, so okay, so kind of not really. Yeah, no, I didn't quit, but y'all, let's talk about this, okay? Because is it just me? Like, I feel like I worked these past two weeks to get a check to pay my car insurance, my car note, and a little bit of groceries. That's it. Like, I don't understand. Like, the cost of living is mad crazy right now. Like, am I the only one that's, like, feeling like this? I'm at work right now. But I'm not on the clock. So, it's 7.35. Okay, so, um, because I don't need nobody showing my job. She making videos on the clock. No, I ain't. Okay, so, yeah. Is it just me or was, like, it's really hard to make a living? Like, it's really hard to make a living. And, like, with me being monetized right now on YouTube... Like, the money's coming in, but it's slow. But it's, like, working the 9 to 5. In this case, 8 to five, eight to 4. Then having to get off, do other stuff, like house stuff, home stuff. Then it's, like, honestly, like, for instance, last week, two weeks ago, um, I had gave myself a challenge. I was going to get to... Well, I really can't say the challenge because the challenge is in another video. But I was supposed to um, focus on my YouTube, everything. You know, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Push the videos out, push the videos out, push the videos out, see how much money I can make. But my boyfriend came home. He works at a plant. And he works 10 hours. And one of those days, he worked 12 hours. So he was dumb tired, right? He was dumb tired. Sore. And that's understandable. But me is like, you know, I come home and I want to do my thing. I want to do what I want to do for my business, X, Y, and Z. And I can't because I have to cook. And it's like, I can't really, like, on certain days, he doesn't mind cooking or whatever. But it's like, I can tell when he's really like, yo, I can't do it. Like, I'm really sore. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, fudge. So it's like for three or four days, I couldn't focus on myself. And it's like, it's very frustrating, like seriously. And I just be thinking like, if I quit my job, and when I say quit, I'm not like up and quit. Like, I'm gonna make sure everything's straight. Like, do I need to go full throttle on myself? Like, because it's hard. Like, so not only do I have a YouTube channel, I have a clothing brand. Social media is like, it's hard to keep up with everything. On top of that, I got constant ideas running through my head that I'm trying to execute. I can't get it executed. Trying to find the right people. People falling through. And it's like, I got mad videos. I got like three SD cards. Mad videos I got to edit. I got a video right now from two months ago that I haven't edited yet. Like, and that's a really, really, really big video. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. Like, do I really need to just go full throttle? Because it's like, what am I doing? Like, and my, my, um, my business coach always be like, everybody want to quit. You know, you're being delusional because can you afford, how much, how much is it to afford yourself? How much is it? Well, you got to make that plus more. Way more. Plus way more. And I'm just like, I feel, I generally feel like if I put the time and the effort, the same time and effort that I do here, 
at my job. If I put it into what I like to do and what I want to do, it will pop off. It will be successful. The money will come in. The money will generate. Like, I don't know, y'all. I just never not had a job. And I was never the one to... I'm not going to say I was never the one to quit. Because I've quit jobs before. But it was... Because I went to another job. <laughs> right? I've always had security since I was... Since I started working... No. Since I started working at... What age was it? Walmart. When I was 17 years old. I've always had job security. Like, I worked at Walmart. When I graduated high school... I worked for temp agency. That Y'all know how temp agencies go. That lasted a month. From October to November. From November. November, December, January. I started school in January. So two months. I wasn't doing nothing. I was very depressed. <laughs> wasn't doing nothing. And then I want to say March. I started working at Walmart. From then, I have never not worked. I went from Walmart to Corrections. Hell, I did both at the same time, but it got too much. Corrections to probation. Then I had probation. I worked at Coles at the same time. Then I went back to Corrections, Juvenile Corrections. Then I went to Adult Corrections. Then I went to DSS. Then I, like, at my current job. So I've always had a stable job. But honestly, are any jobs stable these days, y'all? Like, like, really? Like, let's just think about it. Are any jobs really freaking stable these days? Like, I feel like if you if you ain't create the job yourself, you could get just get fired just at any time. Like, <sighs> yo, am I the only one that feel like this? Like, this is just crazy to me. Like, I be talking to my sister. My sister, like, you already know what you need to do. Yada, yada, yada. But it's like, I don't want to disappoint my parents. Like, I don't want my parents to be mad. Like, I'm 30-something years old, and I'm still thinking about my damn parents. How my parents going to feel and what they going to say. But at the end of the day, my parents don't see what I see. Like, my parents don't feel what I feel. My parents, they don't understand me. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand what I'm saying, y'all. Like... So it's like, I don't expect for them to get it. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna fail. <laughs> if all else fails, I can just pull my retirement, right? <laughs> oh, y'all. I really, like, I really want a better life. And I feel like doing this and working, like, it's a continuous cycle. Like, nothing's going to change. Like, it's not going to get any better. Everything is going up. I'm not eligible for food stamps. Like, none of that. Like, we still got to buy food. Like, food going up. <sighs> like, yo, it's crazy. Like, has anybody ever thought about this? Like, just going full throttle for yourself? Let me know in the comments because I can't be the only one. Like, my sister, she feels the same way too. And it's like, I understand what she's saying, but like, our mom is not going to understand. Like, and I have set myself up since 21. Since I first got a state job, I've set myself up for retirement. So, I got a pretty good penny. But, I mean, I ain't going to say it's pretty good. I'm going to say it's a tiny cushion until some shit pop off, right? So, yeah. Some, just some shit pop off and some money, some money come in. But, yeah. Like, I don't know what to do. And I love my job. When I tell y'all... This is the easiest job. I'm not going to say easiest. This is one of the best jobs I have ever had in my life. Ever. Like, one of the easiest jobs. One of the best jobs. 
And it's like, I don't want to leave. Like, I don't know if it's because I'm content. I don't know if it's because I'm scared. Well, for one, I know I'm scared. Two, insurance. Like, what am I going to do about health insurance? Like, it's a lot of things to think about. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, in two weeks, I made a certain amount of money on YouTube from old videos, old videos. I ain't made, I ain't put out not not one new video. And I made a little bit of money. And I'm like, if I can make this much money in two weeks from old videos, I know. And I, when I tell y'all, I have a list of videos. I mean, list of videos that I have to do, okay, if in multiple categories, multiple different things, and it's like, it's hard to push it, at, it's hard to push it out like I wanted to, working and, and trying to survive, and <sighs> then it's like, I feel guilty like, if I come home and I'm... Because I'd be more mentally exhausted and my boyfriend be more physically exhausted. If I come home and I'm mentally exhausted and I just want to sit down, like, I feel bad. Like, I feel like I don't deserve success. Which is another video I'm going to do, y'all. Because it's like... <sighs> like, y'all know what I'm saying. So... So if I quit my job and it fails, then what? But don't think like that, right? You're not supposed to think like that. What Pop Smoke said, shoot for the stars, aim for the moon. And that's exactly what I want to do, but I'm so fucking scary. Oh I'm so scary. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Yo. I don't know what I'm going to do. Like. I do want to still work. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I just know I need to do more for myself. I don't know if I need to just like. Really dig down into my routine. But it's like. Am I not disciplined enough? Am I not. Like strong enough like am I not like I don't even know how to explain it like do I not deserve success like do I not deserve to go full throttle for myself all my life it's been take care of this person take care of this person what does this person think this person this person I have never done anything for now like seriously and this year has been so crazy. So many good things have happened this year. It's wild, crazy. Like, I didn't even know that I was um, vending at a mega church. Mega church made hundreds of dollars. I didn't even know that until I got there. Like, my mother finally moved out. Like, I didn't think that shit was ever going to happen. Like, <sighs> Like, I don't know. I finally got my craft and content room. So it's like, what are you about to do? Like, you need to you need to figure this shit out because wasted nine hour eight hours a day and shit. Sometimes, like today is the only day that I ever just got to work early as hell and not went to work. I'm usually here at like 721. And I'm doing stuff until like 430. I only get paid for eight of them hours. I don't get paid from 721 to 8 and from 4 to 4 30. I don't get paid for that shit. It's just me doing my just working. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, I, I don't know. I need to do something. But yeah, y'all, am I the only one that feels this way? 
if not please let me know like it's a lot of emotions around this topic like i'm scared petrified but then i'm ready but then i'm not ready and it's like it's like and one minute i'm like you gotta take the chance you gotta take the risk you gotta do it and then it's like what if it don't work what if this is a really big mistake what if you know what i'm saying like but then i'll never know like i'll never know until i actually do it and try it so yeah so for right now i'm employed it's still heavy on my mind but what I am going to do, I'm going to see if I can, I'm going to just try to go a little harder, y'all. A little harder. Yeah. Because honestly, like, even with my clothing brand, it's hard to push that out when I'm trying to go full throttle with YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's like I'm not using my, I feel like I'm not using my time wisely that I got outside of work. And it's like. If I take a second to myself to relax, and it's like, I feel guilty. It's like, well, you don't deserve to be successful. Like, I don't know. It's a lot. It really is a lot. Like, yeah. So, we'll see. But I do know... Like, right now, even working, like, it's hard to even buy merch. Because my 9 to 5 and the bills doesn't support me buying inventory. Buying this, buying that. Like, but if I go full throttle on myself and push everything out like I'm supposed to because I have the 8 hours in the day then I know the money's going to come. I genuinely feel like I don't want to work a 9 to 5 for somebody else, but I will work 12 hours for my damn self. Like, I genuinely feel that. Like, do you, have you ever felt like, like, have you ever felt that way or heard somebody say that? Like, I would rather put the time in for myself. I don't know. I might consider just, like, dropping down my position like getting another position within where I'm at. I don't know, y'all. I do know something gotta give. And I need to move. And with working, there's no money to save. None. And with working, it's hard to push the videos out like I want to. With working, with not being able to push the videos out, the money is not going to come like I wanted to. Like, it took me three years, almost four years to get monetized. And I'm literally here making the money. I need to go hard. I need to go ham. Like, so y'all, that was my morning video. It is... 7.53 now. So, which means I'm about to head inside. And I'm about to go to work. It's time for another retwist. But, I'm about to go to Houston in a couple weeks. So, I'm going to get a retwist then. I need to do something about my face. My face is breaking out. Let me know if y'all feel what I'm saying, okay? If you understand, if we hear with what I'm saying, all right? If we in the same boat. All right. So before you go, don't forget to get your Invisible merch. This is the... Oh, shit. I think I spray all on my shirt, y'all. It'd be all right. So before you go, make sure you check out my website, Invincible You. This is one of my t-shirts. It's the maroon and white. I got it all messed up. So yeah, y'all. Thank you for watching. At the end of the day, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.